Hi, in this video, I want to talk to you about stretching or strengthening. Should you be stretching or should you be strengthening? And don't forget, if you like our content and you like these tips about your health and well-being, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification because then we'll be able to let you know each and every time we bring out some new content. So this is one of the most common things that I get asked about in our clinics. Should I be stretching or should I be strengthening? And unfortunately, in order to answer that, it's not quite as simple as it may seem. Firstly, we need to understand the principles. Why are we stretching and why are we strengthening? Well, stretching, when we're stretching, what we're looking to do is increase the flexibility of tissue. We're looking to make it more pliable. We're making, looking to make sure that there's less pressure on the joints and overall to increase the amount of flexibility we have at those muscles that then cross that affected joint or area. When we're looking to strengthen, what we're looking to do is build the strength of those fibres to make sure that those muscles are strong enough for the demands that we're looking to place upon them. So once we understand that, we can start to apply those principles into our rehabilitation. But the key thing is we need to understand what the problem is. So for example, I have lots of people come to me and they say, I have this pain and I keep stretching and stretching and stretching it, but it's just not getting any better. And then when we test their flexibility, they've actually got very good flexibility. So they're not going to get any more gains from stretching. But when they come to doing their sport or their exercise, they still get this problem. So this is where we would look at a lack of strengthening. And it's important then that we're testing the strength of the area. And it can work the other way because I get lots of people coming to me and saying, I had this problem. Um, you know, for example, I had a shoulder problem. And what I keep doing is I, I, I saw these exercises and I keep doing these and I keep working these exercises for my shoulder. And I'm trying to make it stronger and stronger and stronger, but I'm still getting the pain. But then when we text the flexibility of that area, the problem that they've got there is that they're very tight in the area. So that would be somebody who we would need to get a flexibility program in place. See, I always think it's important that the end result is that we have flexible but strong muscles. We want both of these things. So what we need to do is perhaps not just focus on one of these concepts, but we need to get a all round rehabilitation program. That's not to mention we also have stability to factor in as well. But it's also, this is where it gets slightly even more confusing, these things, they're not mutually exclusive. So what I mean by that is, muscle might be getting tight because it's too weak, and then we would need to work on both. So in order to answer the question, should I be stretching or should I be strengthening? What you truly need to understand is, where are your deficits? And in order to find those deficits, what we need to do is give a full test of both your flexibility and your strength compared to the uninjured side. And this is where we would initially take any assessment in order to understand. And that is where we build the appropriate rehabilitation program. So what I wanted to talk about here is, what are our principles of stretching? Why are we stretching? Why are we holding muscles in a lengthened position for 30 seconds? Well, this is because we want to improve their flexibility. Why are we strengthening? Well, this is where we're looking to increase the strength of those muscle fibers in order to cope with the demands that we want to place upon them. So in order, should you be stretching or should you be strengthening? It's not an easy answer until we do the assessment. So when you can assess yourself and see if you're flexible or see if you're strong, that's when you can build an appropriate program. So if you're someone who's thinking, no matter how much stretching I do, I actually can't get the results that I'm looking for, it just might mean that you're not strong enough for the demand. So even if you've got flexible muscles and you meet those sporting goals, what the problem is then is that the muscles aren't strong enough and they re-tighten up, so you become frustrated. So I hope that was a helpful video and content for you. It's a common question that I get asked, but it's not a simple answer. So strengthening, stretching, ultimately what we want to be getting the conclusion is, is that you end up with strong but flexible muscles.